Hello, ladies, gents, and skit marks in my underpants. We return to Spelunky 2.5. 2.5. Oh, jeez, an alarm is going off. Let me turn that off. I hear rushing water. I see the rushing water. I can even smell it. it smells of musty mildew and nasty piranha meat. Uh, delicious mod. Very fun. A grand old time. Really appreciate it. Not quite what I imagined after reading the description. I thought it would be a lot more focused on being a, a mild correction. That's how I imagined it. A mild correction of Spelunky 2 that kind of added more randomness. You know, all the, all the silly nonsense that I bitch about about Spelunky 2. It is much more of a remix that I anticipated. Which, you know, is perfectly fine. I appreciate it. I enjoy it. I look forward to seeing everything it has to offer. Uh, but I definitely had to adjust my expectations. And now they have been properly adjusted. I am ready to explore everything that it has to offer. Because there does seem to be a lot of novelty here that I want to check out. I am very much interested in seeing what... Splunky 2.5 has to offer something that I have said wrong like 30 times in the previous video. I said Splunky 2.0 because when you say a version number that starts with a 2, what the hell's going on here? <laughs> Let's leave that entire message unfinished. This here radio is for shopkeeper use only. How else do you think we get our supply orders? You are demonic. You open a portal to to hell itself and get your ill-gotten wares that way you cannot fool me you can't convince me that you're a, a honest merchant on what is going on there <laughs> I am, that is what i'm saying uh, there's a lot of really fun cool stuff to explore and figure out i really want to see it all in, but you know before i do that i'm just going to bomb my way into this radio it belongs to me now this is now my radio a bitch what you got back here absolutely nothing you know what would be hilarious if shopkeepers were able to go through gates so there's a weird locked door over there wonder if it connects here that will be really nice nah I wonder what that is about it seems to just be guarding something let's go over here there's something maybe interesting the back layer has been greatly expanded in Spelunky 2.5. I'm trying to figure out what's in there. I don't have to get it. I just want to know what is it. This vaguely... I am moving my head trying to figure out what it is. Like, you know, I can get a better vantage if I look at my monitor a different way. This bomb here because I might be able to get through. Nah, but I can't see it. What is in there? It's a cape. It's Vlad's cape. I see. Pretty cool that there's the option to be able to get in there. But uh, as far as I know, there is no key to be found anywhere. Oh, jeez. <laughs> you scum lord. But maybe there is a key. Maybe a key has spawned somewhere. Ow. I don't know. I appreciate that. Uh, either way, now we have a radio. And now we're able to get to the resource crates in the middle. Now it's an actual crate that I still need to spend a resource to get to. But I will grab it though. It's all good. Alright. Okay. We're going to traverse this land. And have a grand old time. Try to forget my troubles. My awful Alaskan troubles. Do you have any idea how much... It has snowed already. Stupid ass weather. I've been shoveling there a whole damn week. It's not just snow. It snows. And then it rains on top of that shit. And it's a sheet of frost that is five inches thick. It's this... Oh, baby. Oh, I have made a mistake. But it's okay because he just shot me away from there. Oh, <laughs> Everything is uh, still according to plan. Don't worry about it. All right, you know what? You know what? Scumbag. Piece of trash. You think you think you got the lay of the land? You think you, you can boss me around? How about you eat one of these bombs? Check out this bomb. 
Eat it, son of a bitch! You think that you can be the boss of this land? No. I am the real boss. I dictate this, the speed and the quality of our interactions. So here I am, just huffing and puffing on the driveway, trying to get this damn pile of frost unstuck from the ground so that I can get it off my property. Well, that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> that's a mistake. What is happening right now? <laughs> Please. I just want to grab the damn bomb and throw it over there so I can grab the damn crate. Oh, la, la, la. Whoa, la, la. All right. <laughs> Everything. Everything's fine. Grunk. Do battle. Oh. You can do it. Look at him. Look at him go. What a Chad. Well, I mean, <laughs> he did what he could. He did what he could. This piece of scum. I can't believe this guy tried to kill me just now. I only killed one of his buddies, that's about it. How dare he try to visit ultimate revenge upon my person. This is not right. Okay, we do have a few bombs. We can make something work here. Let's hopefully just bomb our way through. That was weird how the, how the music finished. <laughs> that is just a limitation, you know, of putting the music tracks uh, in the way that they work with this Blunky 2 music, I guess. Would be my, my guess, obviously, because I don't know the first thing about programming Splunky 2 mods, but I really should be bombing some turkeys, is what I should be doing. That's not gonna be triggered until I show my face. Eh, whatever. The dog went through. There's this other idiot over here. I think we can just use a bomb to get down there I will be fine Whoop. it's all right forgiveness will eventually happen don't worry about it this feels like someone's lair someone's lair but it's not guaranteed it will be mole man I would like mole man though because he does have some good stuff in his breast so anyway I am not done bitching about the weather, okay? It has been a heavy weight upon my conscience this past freaking week. I'm not supposed to start this early. The damn miserable pile of snow. It is supposed to be a La Nina event. If you're not aware of how that works, there is El Nino and La Nina, the weather patterns that govern global, global weather patterns. Usually with El Niño, you get an inversion of what usually happens. With La Niña, you get an exaggeration of what usually happens. Well, that is not my intent, what just uh, transpired, but I'm okay with what just happened. All right, we're not going to eggplant land this time around. We're going to take this place, and it seems to be altered in some way. I wanted to see Volcana as well, or whatever is supposed to be here. A Matok. A Matok, you say? Shove it up your asshole! Oh, get crap out of this mantle! What the hell just happened? Open the... <laughs> uh, okay. Probably explodes as soon as I step on it, right? No? Wonder what the deal there is. Anyway, we got a mantle. I like the music. Wonder where the music is from. If I were to guess, it's going to be a, from... Some other indie video game that I am not aware of. Okay, let's just go this way. Well, maybe I haven't even played it, but you know, it just didn't register in my mind. Uh, Volcana, definitely lots of differences as well. I almost shot this damn robot. Let's not do that. Let's not have that happen. Uh, so, supposedly, this winter is going to be colder and wetter. It's going to be so much freaking awful snow. Uh, the intention. And this is something I have kept to myself, for I don't want to either jinx it or make promises that I cannot keep. It's hoping that it's, it's a pretty sure deal by now, but I may be moving. I'm, I'm still gonna say maybe moving. Moving to back to Spain next year. And if 
that's the case, well, it will be the the final farewell, the final middle finger that Alaska is giving me this year. It's amazing, so great. Nothing set in stone though. There's still a lot of variables that, unfortunately, may change the future. So I don't you know, want to make like any kind of announcement or anything. It's just it's in the works. We're trying to make it happen. We'll see. But man, if it happens, oh, if it happens, I'll be a full-time artist, pretty much. All right, all right, we're altering the deal. Let's hope that they don't want to alter it again. I'm just hoping to lure them into some kind of other state of being, where they stop being a pain in my ass. But clearly, that's not happening. You maniac. You absolute maniac. Okay, we're going down there. I want you fellows to shoot each other. Is this too much to ask? Uh, I will believe so. I have 20 seconds left. Why is Kali Altar, Kali's Altar just a slab of stone? This offends me. Well, it's alright then. The bomb will save me. Never mind. The bomb did not save me in the slightest. I guess I should blame nobody but myself. Because I did... I did murder to steal a radio. Maybe... I should curb the petty criminal in me, not put my gun in the nose of that 7-Eleven employee and tell him, hey, give me that radio behind you in the display unless you want to kiss your life goodbye. Maybe I should clean up my act, go back to school, get my GED, get a job as a janitor. What is going on here? What is going on here? I deserve to know what's on the other side of this it's just a crate okie dokie I will take this jar full of gist I'll put it down my gullet don't think that I won't absolutely delicious expiration date oh another one of you huh uh, never mind temptation is is far too great I cannot resist grabbing this radio it is now mine it belongs to me that merchant was only holding it for my benefit, why do you exist? I almost spiked myself. That would have been very... Okay. <laughs> yeah, you're still spiked, you piece of scum. I don't think roping this man was even necessary. I'm glad I did it, though, because it fills me with joy to watch their die. Why is there two shopkeepers? I don't know. But now there's only one, so it's all good. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> my assault. My assault was not ultimately murder. Don't stop shooting me. I don't want to blow up those delicious bombs. Okay, good stuff. Oh, yeah. There's no reason to push that. What are you doing? All right, all right. <laughs> it's all good. A little bit of assault and... <clears throat> As I was saying, a little bit of assault and murder and... Uh, Robbery never hurt, hurt anybody. That was on the end that holds the gun, right? Let me tell that to the stupidest criminals ever caught on camera. But not me. I did not find my demise because I was a violent psychopath. No, I found my demise because there was a psychopathic architect opposite to me. Put a freaking neural trap right to next to the exit. Piece of trash. Can't believe that this radio is not out for sale. It's their damn fault for not providing a way for me to obtain it in a legal manner. It's forced me, forces my hand to be forceful about my acquisitions. I'm going to take what I take and you are going to deal with it. Just now realized that there's also some funky shopkeeper music. No one to murder you. Probably a shooting, right? But I just like to cause you pain. What do you want me to say about it? Like, I, I am sick of pretending, man. I'm, I'm sick of pretending like I do not enjoy the process of carving your skull with a pickaxe. This is something that just fills me with joy. That's why I just made that vault explode just for the satisfaction of having him become a pile of trash. I know this uh, was a teleporter. Could I used it to get out of my jam? 
But that would have implied putting more than three neurons together to get it done, so... That was uh, a lot of pain. It hurts me to put thoughts together. I'm not gonna do that more often than I have to. Oh yeah, give me that health. Give me that health. I need it. I'm in great need. Hey, look, it's another mole. Uh, <laughs> the maker of the mod, he was actually... I actually never changed the moles. So I know. What's the deal there? It just so happened that we were not seeing a whole lot of them. But uh, the moles still spawn at the same rate, according to... Don't I have the radio? Oh, no. That entire run got tossed into the garbage. It's all right. It's okay. We don't, we don't really care about throwing... Throwing bad runs into the garbage that was going nowhere anyway. I don't know what's going to happen here, but let me just get through the exit. All right, it's all good. Everything's fine. Let's see whose lair it is. There's Dusk for some reason. Guarding... Guarding uh, a dragon. All right. <laughs> you know what? You know what? Eat, eat this one, bitch. <laughs> I mean, that probably killed the dragon. So that kind of worked... <laughs> working against me <laughs> oops but we all laughed we all laughed for however long it lasted so it's all good everything's fine anyway uh we got another instance where there is no way through <laughs> and indeed indeed uh, that is like a known issue that you know it's not that big a deal Resources are fairly plentiful. It just makes you salty when you have to spend a resource to go through uh, a certain area instead of it being like, holy crap, what is going on down there? Oh, a s arrow trap. Could I just kill me with it? Or, you know, the scorpions, the mass of horrible scorpions could have destroyed me. <laughs> what, a, what a nightmare, man. That back layer, I need to remember that is... A literal hell pit. And I do not want to go back there unless I. Uh, it is absolutely necessary. Here, the beating of drums. That one's new. Oh, I see. I see. We get a, a random mole man in here. I actually like that. I like that quite a lot. Hoping to trigger him. You don't want to get triggered? I want to send him rolling through the level. I want that. Woo oh yeah. Woo! Off he goes. I wanted to destroy the entirety of the level that fills me with joy. It is really nice to find Mole Man in a regular ass scenario instead of having to destroy his lair! <laughs> oh, yo, yo. <laughs> uh, he took mercy upon my soul. He was he was hearing me. He was like he said it was nice to see me. He my friend. All right, buddy. <laughs> All right, just, just keep doing your thing. We're going to continue throwing you down this path. Uh, oh, I thought that I had some full damage there. All right, that was cool. I really like that. Overall, the dwellings are so much more fun than in Spelunky 2 Vanilla. Is it scuffed? Is it ruffled around the edges? Sure, man. But I will go through these dwellings any day of the week uh, versus the standard version of the dwellings. You know what? You have nothing but trash garbage. You do not deserve my patronage. Violent or otherwise. Absolute trash that you are. All right. Okay. Uh, this rope shall be the solution to all my flesh-related problems. Put you in there, give me those climbing gloves. This pleases me greatly. Get me all through. Was there ever a point to talk about the weather? I know that for some reason I wanted to broach that subject because it was something that I wanted to talk about. Completely evaporated from my mind. I don't even know if I finished that entire line of thought or it just went unfinished because some other nonsense interrupted me. Huh? All right, it's fine. We don't need anything. We just want we just want this pickaxe to go forward. And I just wanted to steal his crap. Well, this is a nightmare. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Oh no no no! I do have a pickaxe. I could have done 
Ooh. He guards just, just guarding our jetpack, just like that. He's just patrolling back and forth like a moron guarding a jetpack. And I have just the right tool to get it. Amazing. Murder! Give me that rope. I have just the right tool to get to the jetpack. Shove this piece of trash up your butthole, and now we are just properly equipped to go forward. Let's never go to the back layer ever again. No thanks. But you know, I really appreciate the Mole Man stage. Having this variety is so nice. This counts as 100% an improvement. Would I make it this involved? Like, it is super dangerous to go to the back layer. It's, it's uh, you know, like I said, it's a little scuffed. But man, is this an awesome, really fun improvement on our usual Mole Man Lair fare. Okay. Okay, nothing terrible happening here. Do I want to go to Volcana? Probably not. Probably should. Give a chance. Well, you're a problem, aren't you? You're a real problem. I should give a chance. Sure, you have to just do one of these. To the other side. Let's check it out. Do we have a maniac, though? We're not doing eggplant land today, but I'll be back at some point. All right, let's see what the jungle looks like. Looks perfectly equal. But also with the extra greenery, looks more saturated, pretty much. That's the, the entirety of it. I'm sure the rooms will be super different, though. I'm looking forward to it. Murder. Ha! Okie dokie, have no boots. And this guy is an actual danger to my person. All right, man, this zigzagging pattern is also a danger to my person. This, these levels are a nightmare. <laughs> this is, uh, reminds me of the John modifications. I'm going to put a bomb right there. These rooms are, are very Johnistic, very, would ya? Whoa, la, 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 la. A lot more variety. A lot more harder. A more harder. What is going on here? What is this? Some, some variety is praying? What is going on? Like, where's the shopkeeper? I'm confused. Bah! Oh yeah, give me that health. I'm so confused. Why is there no shopkeeper here? Either way, I am happy to steal from their body. Therefore, shopkeeper, shopkeeper use only, but there is no shopkeepers guarding it. How bizarre. Why is there all these turkeys here? The, the jungle has been taken over by invasive species. Oh, what's going on? Go out for a snack. Don't touch anything. You're not the boss of me. I, I had to find out. You know I had to find out. I have no idea what's going on here. I am sure that I would terribly punished for my curiosity. Please, no bow and arrow. That would be very upsetting. Uh, the patch notes or the mod description does say the quest chain has been radically altered. So I really want to find out what the hell is in here. That's definitely not the path I want to follow. Face-to-face uh, -face altercation with this monster. Well, that was a mistake, wasn't it? <laughs> Got three ropes out of that. Very upsetting. There's a turkey down there. Not worth going in there. Let's go up this path that I am carving for myself, and hopefully we'll get somewhere even remotely interesting. Well... There he goes. I don't know if there was a bow in here, but we explored as far as we could. Let's do. Just get the hell out of here. Carry on with my life. All right, all right, please. Look, you cannot blame me for the performance, okay? It's a late, late evening run. I am tired. I'm a tired little fella. Die! Ah! Destroyed. My hatred has been shifted 
pretty wholeheartedly to the Curse Boys. They have ruined too many runs. What is the deal? What are you doing? Why are you stuck there? That's another question. Oh, you just can't see it, but there is um, a cobweb. Yo! Bro, come on, man. <laughs> How do you even manage? How did you even manage, you filth, scum, garbage person? I loathe you. I placed you in an entirely different location. Hoopla. Come on, man. Why? Why do you have to do this to me? <laughs> I'm a nice, lawful citizen of this country. Why do you have to bring such aggro to my life? Filthy trash. Ghost? Get me out of here. What a terrible situation. Ghost situation is insane. Leave me alone. Ow. One health. This, this is terrible. We need another pile of turkeys. Don't I have a radio? I sure do. I cannot. I cannot shoot you without uh, suffering... The ultimate defeat. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Unexpected to randomly go down. <laughs> this is so sad. I can't stop failing. There's no keys. Wow. Great catch. I caught it with my teeth. Let me just restart this humiliation. It's just awful. But I did make the promise. So this, what is going on? <laughs> it's not protecting my shopkeepers. Tell me the story that happened here. These cavemen took over the shopkeeper's stall. They were being protected, and now they just pummeled that bald piece of garbage. Took over his uh, little guard post over there. Very, very disturbing. Absolutely terrible. All right, check out this incredible bounce. Absolutely gorgeous, totally worth it. Very happy to have did it. Did that? Yep, yep. All right. Well, there's no reason to do anything there, and then uh, to put my thumb in my butthole and start spinning like a helicopter. There is just nothing of worth here to me. All right. Let's see if we can make it through these silly dwellings. What did I do? Why am I being targeted? I did not earn any of this hostility. Why do you exist? <laughs> uh, well, I mean, we already earned your ire. Might as well steal your shotgun. It's okay. It's okay. He's going to come this way. Don't worry about it. What, do you think I cannot take it? Do you think I cannot take a single shopkeeper in his natural habitat? I can't. Well, you think I cannot take a single shopkeeper in his natural habitat? Well, then you will be right, okay? Is that what you want me to say? I can't take a single shopkeeper in his natural habitat, even though it was a very good first interaction. The second interaction wasn't so great. I'm going to redeem myself now as I do the impossible and speedrun Splunky 2.5. Are you ready to witness the ultimate amazing parkour that is going to happen at the hands of... Paco Espelanco. Amazing, amazing ability to just yeet damsels into the air and watch them get impaled. Oh, well, whether you're ready or not, it's coming. It's coming. It's happening right in front of your eyes. That lady had no idea about the the fate that awaited her. Gave her life to the cause. She flew through the air, got a spike into her eyeball, and uh, I feel no remorse whatsoever. Well, I thought for sure I was impaled there as a result of that interaction, but everything worked out. Please, we need to get this damsel to the exit so that I can uh, maybe survive a little bit longer. Uh, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it so much. I hate those arrow traps. They are a nightmare, and I hate them. It's all good, though. Everything's fine. You may think that my cause is lost. 
but no, we're only just starting, okay? And by only just starting, I mean this is the last run. But it's going to be amazing. Get me through, get me through, get me through. Don't worry, there won't be a shopkeeper just raining from the sky. It's not going to happen. I got this all under control. Everything's fine. Never mind. <laughs> We're leaving. We're leaving right now. All right, okay. Please give me the best layer. The most amazing layer. Never going to the back layer. This back layer is so cursed. Absolutely atrocious. Really? It's just nobody's layer, huh? There's no one lives here. That's on the other side. No one lives here. There's uh, free real estate. Well, I'll help myself to whatever is guarded at the bottom. I'd like to go back to the jungle. That was far too humiliating. Not to want to return. I just tunnel vision to the exit. I was like, finally, a path to victory. Please. No scorpions. It's all good. It should be a maniac at the exit, right? Not anymore. He is just dead meat. All right, let's go, Volcana. I am sure everything will go exactly as I want it to be. Very happy that I no longer have crazy people to watch out for. There's nothing to be gained by going this path. Do not burn my anus. I'm really liking this uh, music remixes. Holy crap, what the hell? <laughs> Uh, the music, re it, it just sounds like a remix of just regular tempo. We need to look up where all this awesome music comes from. So now you're here, huh? I mean, sure, we'll, we'll pay $10,000 to do absolutely nothing of worth. In this damn place, maybe we'll find some damn turkey. Son of a whore. <laughs> don't, please, don't humiliate me this way. I am okay with hilarious deaths, getting my skull crushed by an uh, out of, out of frame boulder that just so happened to be set in motion by my own poor choices early on in the run. I am not okay with getting whittled down by skeletons. This is the most humiliating fate. It's the worst. Okay, we got this. Amazing. Do not get crushed. All right, so good. Everything's fine. My life has been ruined, and I am tremendously disappointed. I'm paraphrasing. I know the actual quote. I'm paraphrasing. I'm being creative with the way that I quote the meme. I'm using a rope here. I don't, I'm not doing that jump. What, what do you think I am? Some kind of maniac? Well, my titty itches. Let me scratch my titty. There you go. Well, all right, we're gonna trigger that and just hope that it doesn't come back to bite me in the asshole. All right, it's all good. Everything's fine. Those firemen and those robots are not going to reopen my anal fissures. And uh, we're bombing. We're bombing. We're experimenting. We're doing great things. Do you know why I'm here and not up here? Because I was like, you know what? I'm sure that Brock has a great chance of finding my my stupid face so pat your uncle blargo in the back in a comment right now saying good job blargo you saw spelunky and how dastardly devious it is and you knew that you had to hide from that rock that surely would have flown into your mouth so i hope that uh, i can earn at the very least a little bit of praise for seeing that disaster before it actually came to pass. What the? F <laughs> All right, I don't like those climbing gloves, actually. Uh, but I'm fairly broke. Twelve thousand! Come on, man! You can't be doing that. I'm taking matters in my own hands. The, your prowess gouging is shameful. What the hell do you think this is? The grocery store in 2024? Absolutely shameful. Who the hell do you think you are, Kroger? Why? Why? Why you exist? Why you exist? Why you have to be existing, huh? 